After leaving Sunlight Bay Campground, where we have our camp set up, we went and checked out Nimrod Dam area. We have a video on our channel about Nimrod Dam and Sunlight Bay already up. But we head to Plainview, Arkansas, where we top up with gas so we can go explore some more forest roads. We're going to travel back to Pillar Gap Road. Pillar Gap Road is also the road we turned off of to explore Dutch Mountain. That video is also already on our channel. This time, instead of going west, we're going to go east on 156A. We're going to take 156A to 156B. 156B goes to a power line right away. Here there is a trail that follows under the power lines. We chose to stop in this open area for a quick break and we backtracked back to F63D. We then turn right on f 63 for F in this Danville Mountain area for a short trek before making another ride on 658B Road. 658B leads to 658. This exits the forest onto Growly Road. We then head to the town of Ola and find Highway 10. Turning right off of Highway 10 onto Dale Bend Road you will follow Del Ben into Arkansas Game and Fish Commission land. After you enter the commission land, the left turn goes to Cane Island Parking. If you continue straight, you will see the Petite Jean River and a cool piece of bridge. Again, this is a lot of pictures. Uh, the temperatures were really hot and I had issues with my action cameras overheating. So we just took a lot of pictures, enjoy our AC and comfortable ride in the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Some of these roads, I would say, are the roughest roads we experienced on this weekend's adventure. Ground clearance on this, this area is definitely a plus. Having four-wheel drive uh, will keep you from getting hung up. Some of the undergrowth is pretty thick along some of these roads so keep that in mind if you choose to go this way hope you enjoy the trip and the pictures and you get out and explore yourself thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's all get outside